Hi everyone, and welcome to Big Ideas Growing Minds. We are so happy you are here. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support means the world to us. Today's big idea comes from Susan Kane and her inspiring book, Bittersweet. The book has the subtitle, How Sorrow and Longing Make Us Whole, and is, in its essence, a reflection on how a bittersweet state of mind can help us transcend pain, both on a personal and collective level. According to Kane, the bittersweet is a neglected but truly beautiful quality. She defines it as a tendency to states of longing, nostalgia, and sorrow, an acute awareness of passing time, and a curiously piercing joy at the beauty of the world. It's the understanding that the tragedy of life is inescapably paired with its splendor, its compassion, sadness, modesty, hidden suffering and quietness, and the plangent allure of the happy sad. A key point in the book is that the bittersweet lies at the very heart of human existence. See, the impulse to respond to other people's suffering is located in the same place as our need to breathe, digest food, reproduce, and protect our babies. Bittersweetness, therefore, unites us and gives us the power to create a union between souls. Without the bitter, life's joys would be mundane. The people you love wouldn't feel so precious and moments of happiness wouldn't feel special at all. Without darkness, you don't notice the light. Another key reflection is that Western cultures often downplay grief, diminish loss and pain, and pretend that death doesn't exist. In short, we're collectively in denial, and our lives are poorer for it. Closing yourself off to sadness shuts down the possibility of experiencing authentic joy, but it doesn't have to be this way. The best response to pain is to open our hearts to it. We must allow ourselves difficult emotions, like sorrow and longing, if we want to overcome them. Otherwise, they will undermine us at every turn. And once you have learned to accept the bitter in life, along with the sweet, be sure to follow these key pieces of advice. Talk to yourself as kindly and as gently as you would to a treasured friend. Follow your longing where it's telling you to go. Transform pain into beauty longing into belonging, and whatever pain you can't get rid of, make it your creative offering. Some further key conclusions from the book are Number 1. Upbeat tunes make us dance around our kitchens and invite friends for dinner, but sad music makes us want to touch the sky. Number 2. Creativity has the power to look pain in the eye and turn it into something else. Number 3. You don't have to believe in the divinities of the ancient books to be transformed by spiritual longing. Number four, we are taught that when things are going well, that's the main road. When things go wrong, it's the detour. But there is no detour. Life is one road. Number five, we're all just humans, flawed and beautiful and longing for love. Let's end this with a quote. Everything that you love, you will eventually lose. But in the end, love will return in a different form. And there you have it. Bittersweet by Susan Kane. in a nutshell. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to give it a like. Take care and see you soon.